Their latest win on the road at Temple. So they pass a nice test away from home. They won that one in the late goings by one. That triple is down. It's jaded. Triple and off the catch. Last year, he was Butler's most capable outside threat. Transfers over to NC State. This is first year in Raleigh. Flanagan puts it up and puts it in. That's a long two. The NC State needs to look to get more movement on the offensive end. They're stagnant so far. Break field. Turn around. Got it. A five. So we have another V week is upon us this year, and it begins with this ACC SEC challenge, the first annual. Matt Morrell, an effortless jump. Drives, paint touches. That's when good things happen. DJ Burns can facilitate out of this position. He's a great distributor. Marcel got that one off just before the timer. Five of nine from the field to start. Flanagan, free throw line catch. One dribble, and that one falls too short. That was nice defense that time by Marcel. The Wolfpack last time out scored 86 in that loss to BYU. Defensively, O'Connell, who you pointed out a moment ago, with his first basket off the bench. Yeah, that was a great cut by Michael O'Connell. Spent three seasons at Stanford, knows the game, but... He's third in the league at scoring already. And he is certainly the scoring alpha for this Ole Miss team that has definitely been in, in search of one the last couple of years. Score by Middlebrooks with Jamarian Sharp on the bench. So 7-5 is on the bench right now for Ole Miss. NC State needs to look to get in the paint exactly like that. Tennessee is averaging about 17 and a half a game. First annual ACC SEC Challenge. Middlebrooks with a high possession game. They like to get out and transition. Ole Miss would like to keep it more of a half-court game. Biddle Brooks gets free again. Eight is back within seven with possession on this side. Coming up on the nine-minute mark in the first half. Day one of the challenge. Brooks read the ball screen action correctly. Ole Miss is icing those wing ball screens. And Biddle Brooks scores it despite a little contact as well. Hold his own, make DJ Burns score over. That's exactly what he did. So the redshirt freshman plays that one nicely. Now he's shading Morcell, goes up and puts it in. Casey side of offense and how that's been the biggest difference for him this season. He doesn't worry about his misses. Third and final year at Raleigh. Breakfield connects again from in terms of scoring these first few games. Now he's got eight in the first half that matches his season high so far. Morcell rises again and buries the long two. If you're Cowherd, you've got to try and dictate with Morcell. He is just too good to let you size him up on offense. He could score over. Nice drive by Murray. Offensive end. Both teams like to do it. Ole Miss getting it done a little bit more so far. Morrell has always been a savvy on-ball defender. Caldwell wants three and buries it. TJ Burns finds Jaden Taylor. Fires. That's strong. Was on target, but was a bit strong. Taylor moving without the basketball, gets fouled. As the roster is constructed, pretty nicely constructed by Kevin Keats and his staff. A lot of folks think they're maybe a middle of the pack ACC team right now. We'll find out. Steals last season, so for Kevin Keats, who wants to play offense and defense, Taylor fits well. Horn on the pull up, yes. That's tough. That was the title game of that Vegas showdown. Offensively, things went well. They scored 86 points and yet lost that game. They allowed 95. Half. Caldwell, 15 feet out, picks up the dribble. Only three seconds to shoot. Breakfield puts his head down, puts it up. That's through! Because I didn't hear a whistle on that series down the floor. So good work from the Ole Miss crowd here. Breakfield just turning Middlebrooks around. However, he hooked him with that. So NC State has a chance to get it back to single digits. Marcel, the step through, floats it up. O'Connell's got it. Eight point game. For, uh, first half minutes for Middlebrooks. He's been great. Six seconds. Marcel, the blow by. Missed the layup. Flanagan's got it. Did he get it off in time? Do we have a competitive second half in store for your, you? We're going to find out. NC State comes up empty on its first possession. Look how quickly this year. And he's someone who's a capable scorer. He averaged double figures a year ago. Uh, that was an Ole Miss team that wound up near the bottom of the league. Morrell connects. So it's Morcell cutting on the baseline. It's a quick 5-0 burst for the Rebels. Morrell got it. And a foul. Make it Morcell. Kentucky, Kentucky torched Miami. 
Syracuse had a huge win over LSU up in the up in the dome. Henry off the window and in. Parker crossover cut off by Flanagan with five to shoot. Taylor to the basket. Pulls off Sharp's ability to time that block shot. What a finish. Flanagan keeps the pivot foot. Oh, how did that one go in? That's how I tie my shoes. <laughs> Are you a loop swoop guy? Or yeah, I was going to say, what was the big daddy line? I think that's my, my way out there. Cool. How about a hit of Murray, pardon me? Wow, Ole Miss continues to maintain this double-digit lead. Loop, swoop, scoop, tough finish. <laughs> There's a scoop and score. DJ Birds, that's his. As we continue Jim Valvano's fight against cancer, you can make a difference today by supporting cancer research. Action at the rim, that was courtesy of Al Flanagan. That's Starts nice. the run out for Ole Miss. Yeah, that's nice timing by Al Flanagan coming down. Oh. Oh, Caldwell! It's an ankle breaker. This guy's in for the board, tips down to O'Connell. Thomas passes up the three. Middlebrooks, two hand throwdown. Any vibes? Physical, finishing on the inside, competitive. Breakfield hypnotized this man that time. And hustle at times today. Just the young freshman cannot answer the problem that NC State has been faced with tonight. The same thing on that last zone defensive possession. He stuck with the play, got to the free throw line. Same thing here. There's no quit in Breakfield. I mean. <laughs> Well, matchups like this. I'm not listening to our producer for the rest of the game. He's yeah. going to tell me to wrap, go to break. I'm just not going to be. 11 minutes to go here. Ole Miss with the 19 point cushion. Cowherd wide open in the corner. That's strong. You get to face a, another top team. Non conference games, one on the road, were always my favorite. I love going on the road, playing in different arenas. Inside of all of the energy. I mean, NC State has given it in spurts and given it at times, but consistently, that's a big shot from Thomas Jr. But Ole Miss. Flittis is in that burst back. We're three blocks today now. Murray pulls this one. That is a deep stick. Four foot on the gas. Middle Brooks was calling for a whistle. Murray driving kick. Morrell, head fake, one dribble, down and out. You know, and to keep up that pace over the course of that many games is out of this world. So that winds up being a savvy pickup out of the court. He leads the country in blocks per game, just five points per game. That's not what they need from him. They need his defensive presence. They need his rebounding. And that's exactly what he brings. He has all the scoring around him. Burns hits that little baby. E.J. Burns Jr., every possession to let him get going because he can score and facilitate. With less than five minutes now, Breakfield going back to work, checks it up and scores. Even those ones, he was physical and he still finished through contact. So he's a obvious scenario for so he's Continental Tire. Player of the game, and Breakfield was dead. So that manly invitation. Left it short anyway. You look at the schedule, and just like all of these teams in this challenge, you look right up and you've got to play a quality opponent Digits immediately of Miami in Lexington. Someone who's a capable scorer. He's a defense for the other win for the SEC. Georgia Tech got things started with a W. Miss has led for 37 minutes. NC State has led for five to shoot. Check that they never left. Keller to the head. This has just been Ole Miss from the point. A very large second half lead shortly after the break. Yeah, it was the start of the game. Ole Miss just came out of the gates. They were fishing on the offensive wow, end. It's a start for Ole Miss. I've been impressed by their ability to continue their pursuit defensively and stay aggressive offensively. Yeah, just a, a very aggressive defense. But of course, you know, we saw Moose say warming up. uniform before this one. And it does appear as if he has perhaps. And so the uh, SEC is a few seconds away from taking a 4-2 to two advantage. Marshall on the drive, couldn't get that one. The conference is squaring off against one another. You look at the last six NBA drafts, most talent has come out of the SEC and the ACC. Nunez, and with 11 seconds, Ole Miss now can let the clock drain away. 
on what was a thoroughly dominant defense. They forced 13 turnovers against a team that very traditionally takes care of the ball. They scored off of those. Challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. We did. For my partner, Andrea Carter, producer John Marquis, director Chuck Ciccarello, I'm Kevin Fitzgerald saying...